Hey gang, welcome back. Effie Review Problem Mechanics of Materials. What do we got here? Well, we've got two round shafts of different diameters here with a load P on the end of it. If the solid shaft, sh shaft shown are loaded with 500 kips, that's P up there, uh, what is the total change in length of the assembly? And they give us the modulus of elasticity. Okay, press pause and solve it. When you come back, I'm going to show you how to do it. Ready, set, go! All right, did you do it? Did you get one of those answers? I hope so. Let's go, okay? The money equation on this problem is this guy right here. Delta equals, change in length, right? Equals P L over A E. The old fashioned play equation, okay? Because I think we know all these things. We know the lengths of the bits. We know P, the force that's applied. We know the cross-sectional area. And E, boom, is given, right? So here we go. Delta, T-O-T, -T, for totes, my goats, total, is equal to, okay, piece, we'll call this piece number one, and we'll call this piece number two, okay? we got to add those two together. But what's the force? The force is the same on each piece. This one has 500 on it. That has the same force on it, 500, okay? So piece number one, P-L over A-E. 500 kips, okay, times L. L is 10 inches, okay, divided by A. It's a circle, pi times R, 4 squared, that's inches squared, times E, which is this guy, 29 thousand KSI which is okay because I got kips per square inch there, and I got kips up there, that's gonna cancel out, that's all groovy. Plus, here comes piece number two, this guy up here, same load, 500 times L, L is eight, okay, divided by A, pi times three squared, and then times 29 thousand. Dude, all we got to do now is put that in our calculador and we are rolling, okay? 500 times 10 is another zero divided by 29,000, 29, 1, 2, 3 equals burp, divided by pi equals burp, divided by 16 equals, all right? Point zero zero three four three plus here we go five hundred times a equals divided by pi equals divided by nine equals divided by twenty nine one two three equals point zero zero four eight eight point zero zero four eight eight and then I'm gonna add those two together so plus plus point Zero, zero, three, four, three equals, drum roll please, point zero, zero, eight, three inches. Okay, is that an answer? Answer D, how big is that? That's eight thousandths. If you ah, pull out one of your hairs, that's about the length of one hair, okay? Wow, that's not very big, but that's what it is, okay. Hope this helps. Let's do another one.